video for lesson four on my website, Basic Edition. This is a two-part lesson on my site. It's important to know how to do basic addition by hand, even if you're allowed to use a calculator. Many standardized exams don't allow calculators, and even if they do, it's very often not practical to pull out a calculator for every little thing that you have to do. Let me show you the basic idea behind addition. Let's say I want to add 2 plus 3. Now, we all know how to do that, but let's take a look at what's really going on. We start out with two things, so I'm pointing to 2 on my number line, and I'm adding 3 more. When we add, we move to the right on our number line. So I'll simply move to the right one, two, three times and see that I have five. Obviously that's extremely easy, but that's all addition really is. We're combining two numbers. Now make sure that you feel fully comfortable with your addition facts. If you need to buy some flashcards or make some for yourself, make sure that you feel very, very comfortable adding small numbers. You want to be able to do it really quickly and really easily. It just comes up again and again, so don't get hung up on that point. Um, I can show you one little trick that helps sometimes with adding numbers, uh, especially when we add a number like 9. Let me show you what we can do. Let's say we want to add 9 plus 7. Instead of 9 plus 7, what I'll do is I'll add 1 to the 9, and then to compensate for that, I'll take 1 away from the 7. It's a little bit of a trick, but we're allowed to do that. So instead of 9 plus 7, I'm going to think of it as 10 plus 6. I'm just kind of regrouping. I really haven't changed anything. And from this, it's just very easy to see that the answer is 16. I find that that's a little trick that I use. If I want to add 9 plus 5, instead of 9 plus 5, I'll think of it as 10 plus 4, and the answer is 14. So if that helps you, certainly go ahead and use that little trick. Now, let's see what happens when we need to add larger numbers where we just can't utilize a number line or any tricks of any kind. Let's see what we do. For this example, I'm going to add 128 plus 35. Okay, now let's see what's going on here. What you'll notice I did was I lined up all of my numbers on the right. And the reason why I had to do that was so that the place values are aligned. We need the ones place on top of the ones place, the tens place on top of the tens place, and the hundreds place on top of the hundreds place, although in the second number there is nothing in the hundreds place. That's okay. All of our numbers basically get pushed over to the right. If you don't do that, you'll do the problem completely wrong. Make sure you remember that. Now, we always start by adding up our ones place, and then we'll work our way to the left. So we're going to add 8 plus 5, which is 13. Now, I'm not allowed to put a two-digit number, 13, into one column. So what we're going to do is we're going to think of the 13 as three ones. I'll write my three ones in the ones place, and I still have 10 left over, 10 out of the 13. What I'm going to do is do what's called carry the one. All I'm basically doing is I'm putting a one in the tens column. That means we still have to add in one ten. Okay. Now I'm going to add up the tens column, including the one that I just carried. So I have one plus two, which is three, plus three is six. I have six tens. Now I'm writing six in the tens place, but remember that's, those six tens really represent 60. That's what six tens are. Now I'm going to move to the left, to the hundreds place. We have a one and nothing here, so that's just 100. We have an answer of 163. Make sure you feel really comfortable about how to do that. Okay, let's take a look at another example. For this example, I'm going to add 98 plus 49. on top of the ones place, the tens place on top of the tens place. I'm going to start by adding 8 plus 9, and I'll use my little trick that I showed you above. Instead of 9 plus 8, I'm going to think of that as 10 plus 7, and we get 17. Again, put the 7 in the ones place, and carry the one 10 that's left over. Adding up the tens place, we have 1 plus 9, which is 10, plus 4 is 14. Now, there's a few ways you can think about this. Since we're done with the problem, one way to think of it is that you can just write 14 here, and we get 147. It's important to understand what's really happening, though. We ended up with a number of 14, that was our answer, but we were in the tens place. So that really means that we had 14 tens, which is actually 140. 
think about 14 ten dollar bills you really have 140 dollars and that's why we end up with a number with an answer of 147 it's not just that it equaled 14 it was 14 but 14 in the tens place really giving us 140 make sure you understand that this is just a very basic introduction to addition again make sure that you're really comfortable with this take my word for it you don't want to move on to later material and not be okay with doing this type of math. In upcoming lessons, we'll work with other operations like subtraction, multiplication, and division.